That's my mama. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. It's the 21st day of December. This is the day that the Lord has made. We, shall choose, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Today, on this, the 21st day of um, December 2018, my mother's 89th birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. I know you are having a rocking Daniel time there in heaven this morning. Listen, I wanted to just kind of come in and uh, share a couple of more funny thoughts. You know, the Bible says that a merry heart doth, doth good and that laugh says that uh, laughter does good and a merry, uh, merry heart uh, really does one good as well, uh, according to Scripture. And... Um, in sharing these funnies, we just kind of wanted to kind of give you an inside look to growing up all things Williams uh, in the Williams household um, under the under the care of my mom and my dad. <clears throat> One of the stories I want to share with you this morning is there was a time when we lived. We lived at, uh, our address was 4221 Avenue H in Fort Worth, Texas. It was the biggest house we ever had. I mean, we, I mean, we felt like the Beverly Hillbillies, okay? I mean, we had this huge house, two-story house, and uh, the boys' rooms was upstairs, the girls' rooms were downstairs, and mom and dad's room was downstairs. First big house we ever had. And, um... I'm a family. I'm from a family of ten, eight kids. Okay, and um, one day, well, it wasn't just one day. Often, my mother would uh, she would she would uh, summons us. Okay, mother would go, Charles, Charles, come here, and I didn't hear her. And so, the other six or seven children that were at the house at the time. Uh, they would go looking for me, okay? They would go, you know, Charles, mama calling you. Uh, they check in the backyard. I wasn't in the backyard. Come to find out, I'm out there on the street playing football with the, with the other boys on the street. And, um, and so they said, Charles, neighbors calling me. Charles, mama calling you. And uh, so we had, you all know, we had to stop playing football, okay? And I ran back up to the house, went in the house, went down the hall, Went into the room, and, uh, yes, ma'am. Mama, you call me? Yeah, I've been calling you for five minutes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Mom, I'm here. What is it? What, what you want? She said, turn the TV. <laughs> Mama, you've been calling me for five minutes? Had people looking for me? And stopped our football game to come in the house. Come in the house sweating, thinking something's wrong for me to turn the TV channel. <laughs> okay. That's my mama. Okay. That's my mama. I'll never forget that. And um, an, uh, a second funny I'll share with you of the morning. Uh, is is simply this my mother <clears throat> during the holidays my mother always makes sweet potato pies nobody can make sweet potato pies like grandma Ruth, okay like my mama and um, so as I got older mom would always make sweet potato pies she makes several sweet potato pies she'd make those for the family and she knew I liked sweet potato pie so much, she made one especially for me. When I got married and we came home for dinners, mama, she'd always make sweet potato pies for the family. But this one here is wrapped up for you, Charles. You take it home. I'm her favorite. <laughs> As mama continued to get older, she still baked those sweet potato pies. But I noticed she began to forget a little ingredient or two. She still baked me one, missing those two ingredients. 
tasted a little different, but she always baked me a sweet potato pie. As she continued to get older, <laughs> went over one time, she's still baking those sweet potato pies. And this time, this year we went over, the pies had burnt, the crust on the pies had burnt. But she still made an extra one. For me, it was still burnt. She said, oh boy, go on and eat it. it that, that burnt, that's just on the crust. She had a pie for the family and the family looked at that pie and was like, I don't know if I'm gonna eat that. It's missing some ingredients and it's burnt. And then there was the one, Charles, I baked this one just for you, okay? Um, it's a little burnt on the top, but that's your pie. You know, I bake you a pie every year just for you. Yes, ma'am. Well, now, this year will be the first year that since Mama's been cooking, brother, she stopped cooking years ago, but this will be the first year that I won't get no sweet potato pie from my mama. All of a sudden, that burnt sweet potato pie and that sweet potato pie missing a couple of ingredients wasn't so bad after all. Thank you, mama, for the sweet potato pies. You're the best. Happy birthday on this, your 89th birthday. God bless, we love you and we miss you. We miss you, the memories just keep coming. My mama was a hoot, y'all. <laughs> she was a hoot. Y'all will hear some funny stories in the days to come as these video uh, uh, collages, as these video clips come in. God bless, thank you for indulging us these few moments of sharing about my mommy. God bless you now, bye-bye.